TGR. Hey everybody, welcome to our E3 2018 betting special results show. Hey, I'm Sean. This is Matt. If you have not seen our betting special for E3, pause this video, go to the description below. We got a link there. Go watch the stupidest video on YouTube. <laughs> It is it is just about the dumbest thing you'll ever see. It's crazy and Dude. stupid and a lot of fun. Took it so seriously. But uh, So seriously. You, you got to watch that before you come watch this. So what we're doing now is we're tallying up the results from that show where we bet on various things happening during E3. The winner of these bets gets to choose the different categories or the winners of the different categories at our upcoming E3 2018 awards show. <sighs> so uh, it's worth noting that Onyx is currently in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Rudy is currently in Poland. So we're going to tally up the scores, give 10 points extra each of us, and uh, <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Is, is, there, is this the only video that it's just been you and I? I think it is. It's been a long time mm. since just you and me. It's Maybe. been a while. <laughs> Maybe since last summer. Oh my gosh, it's probably almost been a year. I'm so old. Uh, all right, so we're going to get started with the press conference bets. These were worth three points each, and basically we picked five franchises from each of these press conferences and said, hey, are they going to show up with a new game, a n some new DLC, or an expansion? Uh, and we had to guess how many of them would show up. Right, and it had to be new content. It had it to couldn't be new be, content. Yeah, it couldn't be yeah. a port or something like yeah, that. Yeah, so Nier so. Automata showing up doesn't count because it's a port, nothing new there. So we'll, we'll get into the rest of those as we, as we get through this. Um, the winner of each of these gets to pick best game for that company. Right. So we're going to start things off with Electronic Arts. The five franchises we bet were Titanfall, The Sims, Dragon Age, Dead Space, and Road Rash. <laughs> None of those franchises <laughs> showed up. <laughs> Which, I mean... It's, I guess it's surprising. It's kind of not. I, I feel like we should have gotten one or the other of Dragon Age or Titanfall. And Titan, I mean, Dragon Age, I didn't I didn't think we were going to get because I know that Bioware rebooted at some point recently and they've been so focused on Anthem. So not a huge shocker. I mean, we did get that weird sort of backhanded, we're making Star a Star Wars, Wars game. game from Respawn Entertainment yeah. as opposed to, which... <sighs> I mean, I'm more excited that they're making a Star Wars game, especially about a Jedi, than I am that they're making Titanfall content. But man, I hated that. I I don't know. Like, it would have been nicer to see. For that. a split second, I thought we were gonna get Titanfall when they started showing what turned out to be Command and Conquer. Right. I was yeah. Like, oh, it's gonna be it some look Titanfall spinoff mobile. Go oh no, this clearly isn't Titanfall. And uh, Dead Space would have been the dream for me. I mean, I, as much as Dead Space took a downturn in their last game, I would have loved to have seen like. Not next gen Dead Space, but wait, would that that would be next gen, wouldn't it? At this point, it yeah, the be. last one yeah, was, was PS3. PS3. Man, it's yeah. been a long time. Uh, I hope they do it, but yeah, we got nothing. So uh, no, none of those franchises showed up. Matt, you and the other guys all picked two, and I picked one. I said Titanfall, but it doesn't matter. I was closest to zero, so therefore I get three points. Starting strong. Starting strong. I get to pick the best game. Of Electronic Arts, Ooh, which boy. actually there were a couple, there were multiple contenders, so uh, we'll have to talk about that. Mm. I mean, I get to pick it, but we can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm real interested to see the ones that you won. Spoiler alert. Spoilers. Uh, all right, let's move on to Bethesda. Uh, this is where some dreams came true. So the five franchises were The Elder Scrolls, Starfield, Prey, Doom, and wet. Yeah, talk about the opposite end of the spectrum from the EA. They shoot opposite. Everything. Everything Absolutely but wet. everything. Everything but wet. We got four of those games. Yeah. Four I of mean, those franchises. I was only expecting what Starfield and, and Doom, Doom, which we got I mean, we got everything. So I just couldn't believe I could not believe that they showed some of the stuff that they did. I was I'm actually I was kind of on the fence. I gambled, but Prey got an expansion. You had a really good call on Prey. I was not. I just felt like it was such a weird timing for it because it's been it's long been enough. Year. And it, but they showed they, they showed a lot for Prey. I'm, I I really want to boot it back up. Dude, they added I some free DLC. I watched for it. a little bit of footage and it yeah. looks really interesting. And I love that game. And Steam sales on right now. Go play that game. <laughs> yeah, it's like really really bucks. cool. But yeah, the, I mean, the Elder Scrolls Six announcement was definitely the yeah, and I think you know that was a little sneaky because in my mind as I was getting this written up, I was like, 
Elder Scrolls 6 isn't showing up, so some of them are going to say, no Elder Scrolls, but we've got Elder Scrolls Online and Elder Scrolls <laughs> Legends. We actually which, ended up getting Elder Scrolls Blades out of nowhere. Yeah, actually, and we got Online, which was really not them showing new so much, just because it came out a week before. Blades, which none of us could have called. Right. And 6, which looks like it's going to be a next-gen game from what they were saying. So, I, yeah, crazy. So, I didn't think we were going to get any of it. So, of the four of us, I was the only one that said four, and I picked all four correctly not that it mattered so uh you didn't I think get, wet was gonna show up i get another three points I mean, come on six. man wet no on. i didn't i had no <laughs> i was just like wikipedia bethesda franchises that clearly are not gonna show up just to throw a wrench into yeah, the of wet course. yeah no that's not gonna show up yeah, good call uh, uh so it's six to zip 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 let's go on to ubisoft and see how the rest of the team did there so the five franchises were watchdogs <sighs> Splinter Cell, what the heck? Rayman, <laughs> Driver, and Rainbow Six. Sam Fisher, come back to me. We all thought Splinter Cell was coming. Everyone did. Everybody I, did. Like it was, it was a. I think it was just one of those easy hype targets, and the timing seemed right on it. And I, I'm, I mean, we were right at the end of that video. We were like, uh, 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 yeah. Every time you saw a green light, it was like it's happening. No, nope. no, it's something else. Yeah, and I mean, really, it's two years. We last year we were like. Not necessarily expecting it, but hoping. It, it, there was that slight possibility. Next year is going to be crazy. If it it's doesn't gonna, show up next it's year, it's going to be the third year of me just being like, "Are you kidding me right now?" Splinter Cell's future. Yeah, I, I mean, that's a solid list of Ubisoft staples, aside from Driver, obviously. That I'm really surprised that we didn't get basically anything aside from Rainbow Six. So we're kind of unsure how to count Rainbow Six if if. Because I don't even really remember what they showed there. We never went back and looked at it. Not that it mattered. Even if we included it as one, yeah. the team all said two, three, or four. Only one of us said two. That was me. So again, I get three points, Oof. and uh, I get to pick Ubisoft's best games. Now it's nine to zero to zero to zero. But hang on, there's plenty more to come. So uh, make a comeback. I'm, I'm not. I'm. I am no, by no means the winner just yet. Spoiler alert, as by scene in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk Microsoft. All right, Microsoft. We had, what a great conference that oh. was. Uh, mm. Perfect Dark, Gears of War, Viva Pinata, Banjo-Kazooie, and Halo. Only two of those games showed up. They're, they're staples, Halo yep. and Gears. Yep, which, I mean, it's it's to be expected. I know that we had that lull for a while with, with Gears. Yeah, I mean, it was a couple of years between major announcements for Gears. Halo, I don't remember the last time Halo didn't show up in a Microsoft conference. And I think we're in that realm now with Gears where they're kind of they're they're hitting their stride again, they're back and but we got three freaking three. Gears games. Yeah. Three. Including a Funko Pop a Funko partnered Pop mobile and a game. Really cool XCOM oh, tactics, that tactics game. Yeah, I mean that, it, that's going to work so well for that franchise. Yeah, so sure. I mean they they showed a lot, and it, even just in terms of time taken, like they showed a pretty solid they amount of Gears good, footage. Yeah, they spent a good amount of time on it. But yeah, nothing surprising. I mean, I, I think the rare we kind of know where they're at right now, where their headspace is with them sort of developing all this content for Sea of Thieves and Banjo would have been nice. I mean. Viva Pinata would have been really nice, although Phil Spencer said they're not developing that at all right now. So unless he's a dirty liar, they'll they'll bring some of these rare franchises back in the future, yeah. maybe for next gen to and get people people hooked into the new consoles. Yeah, we'll and, get there. I mean, that's one of their, you know, their their focus on the first party stuff. They bought them for a reason, and this is one of the few fresh things. I mean, not that we got a a lack of fresh things from right, them, right, but right, this right. is like the biggest thing they've done. So I know you were super hyped, hoping for Perfect Dark. I but was hoping was... for it, didn't get it. Uh, so only two of us, you and Rudy, said two two of those franchises would show up. Hashtag mood. You both picked the exact same franchises, Halo and Gears. So yeah, both of you split. You split. You each get three points. This is softball. And uh, together, you guys have to come up with the best Microsoft game. Not third party, but best first party Microsoft. Well, if it was third party, we all know where where Rudy where Rudy's would go. going. Well, I'd have a hard time with it. We'll see if he gets to choose that. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to Sony. Oh, so so the score is nine to three to three to Onyx has a big zero. <laughs> Moving on to Sony, we had Twisted Metal, The Order, PlayStation All Stars, Demon Souls, The Legend of Dragoon. Not much to talk about here because none of those franchises Nada. showed up. 
Onyx was the only one. one that had a little bit of hype. He thought Demon Souls would show up. The rest of us were like, none of these are coming. I told you. I told you, Onyx. In his defense, I think he thought that Blue Point's game that they're rumored to be working on now was I mean, going to be Demon's Souls. And, and a lot of people think, oh, well, it was the right timing for it. But to me, having just come out with the Dark Souls remastered, it didn't really make a lot of sense. So, But that, that was a shot in the dark. I, I can't blame him for picking it. Yeah. I just like to rub it in his face, you know? It was a good gamble. He would have taken the whole thing mm-hmm. had even one game showed up. But, uh, well, I mean, looking at this list... I thought Twisted Metal had a chance. Twisted Metal had a chance. I don't think. I mean, the order just did not that do well. That was probably not going to do well. PlayStation's and, not going to go up against Smash. Yeah, All Stars was never going to happen again. If you asked me, it would have been ridiculous. And yeah, so it, Legend of Dragoon could have been a cool, fun megaton. But you know but, what? I mean, it's it was a hard conference to peg anyway because they kind of like they're playing a lot of weird shadow games with us. Like yep. it was going to be a direct style video, but then it wasn't, yep. it was a press conference, but they yeah. were migrating people. Like it was a very weird it was, thing. It was unorthodox. So it made it hard for us to even sort of peg what they were doing. Plus they came right out and said, well, we're going to show these, these are four, the four games. games that we're going to so. concentrate on. Uh, so that means Matt, you, me and Rudy all get three points and together, this might be tough, but together we have to come up with the best, Sony game. That's gonna be a hard pick. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know if I could pick myself. They had, yeah. I mean, it's just it's, in it's my tough. own brain. They showed a lot of really good gameplay for a lot of really interesting first party games. So, <sighs> speaking mm. of showing lots of first party games, this is where an intent. This is where where Onyx's head was the whole time. That's why he <laughs> sucked so bad at this betting special. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to Nintendo. So we had F Zero, Animal Crossing, Star Fox, Earthbound, Kid Icarus. All of these franchises showed up in Super in Smash Bros. Ultimate, Ultimate way. which does not count nope. as a new game in those franchises or DLC or expansions. Crossovers don't count. Unless we count Star Fox and Starlink, which really doesn't impact right. the scores at all. It doesn't, they didn't have any they didn't have anything new for Doesn't contribute games. to the betting, but man, like that was one of the best moments of the conference. Like the entire conference, if you ask me, because it was so out of left field. It took a game that I was not hyped about at all and added tons of hype two years in a row two years in a row of doing this link up with that i mean it was that was a good call on their part and way more exciting than a star fox grand prix racing oh game yeah to me. i mean we still don't know what um what retro is working on yeah, yeah so it yeah. could actually still it be could. that but i really hope it's not this was a right way to ease back into star fox uh, yeah though. i would agree and we were i mean as our reaction video shows like we were pretty hyped about it ubisoft so. did very well with mario yeah. and rabbits so That's, i'm sure star fox will be treated very well i'm excited well. for that collaboration it's good to see them working together uh so in this scenario i said 3 the rest of the team said 2 so all 3 of you matt yeah. onyx and rudy get 3 points and together you guys have to come up with the best game from Nintendo's conference, which the internet's probably already made that decision for you, but you guys have to really go back and look hey, at give us anything to work with. Like, maybe if they had, I mean, if Animal Crossing had shown up, it would have been a little bit tougher, but well, we'll see. I, I have a feeling we all know what it's going to be. We all know what it probably is going to be, but there's definitely some other contenders. There will be nominees for each of these categories, not just this is the winner. So yeah. we'll, we'll get there. Can, um, I, can I pick Reggie just squishing the Pokeball? Because that was my favorite right now. <laughs> Biggest surprise. Uh, <laughs> all right, Square Enix. Two more of these to go before we move on to the last half of our betting special. Uh, Square Enix, uh, the the franchises were the Chrono franchise, Xenogears, Final Fantasy, Just Cause, and Nier. Mm-hmm. Uh, there were two of those that showed up with something new. Uh, specifically Final Fantasy, um, Final Fantasy 14, they announced the Monster Hunter crossover yep. event and Just Cause 4 was announced. Yes. Uh, Nier, as we mentioned at the beginning of this video was announced for the Xbox one, but it was a port. So we did not count that as something new. I was going to say, do we hit everything but Chrono and other, but Chrono and other conferences or... Uh, Final Wait, Fantasy. Zeno- Final Fantasy only happened in Square Enix's conference. Right. Near Just happened Cause in Microsoft. was announced at Microsoft, and Near was shown Z- at Microsoft. Zeno but they were Gears. both also shown at Squares. Zeno Gears. Um, Zeno Gears did not appear. Gears. Oh no, 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 we got Xenoblade. That's right. Xenoblade. Yeah. Yeah, we got Xenoblade. And Chrono um, did not appear. Yeah. Well, I picked two, and they were the well. I got, I got the Final Fantasy. Two. 
You were I mean, the only one that said two, and there were two, so I, you, I, you get the three points. I kind of had a hard time even picking two, but Just Cause, I just didn't, ex- I, I've forgotten how long it's been since Just Cause 3. Like, it's been a while, so. It was so. like 2014 or 15. Mm-hmm. It came out towards the end of the year. Yeah. Um, Which way did But they... it doesn't feel like it's been that long. No, it really doesn't. I, I feel like only yesterday we were. I bought and played that game. Watching and people talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like it was just yesterday, but I mean, I guess, yeah. It I looks said very five similar. franchises. I I, don't, I think I was just feeling the hype. I really wanted tactics to show up, so you, I thought everything's coming. You They've always, got a press conference. It's all you always get that way with Squeenix. Though. I know like Squeenix it's, is my my hype factor. They're so close to your heart. Uh, let's finish off the conference bets with third parties. So these games could have showed up at any conference. Mm-hmm. Actually, any of those games could have. It really didn't matter. Um, but so this is going to be for the best third party game. The five franchises we asked will they show up were. Dragon's Dogma, mm-hmm. Borderlands, Bioshock, Devil May Cry, and I believe the last one was Diablo. Yep. Uh, we only got Devil... Only. We got Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 5 showed up. We knew Borderlands wasn't going to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Actually, had already I think said. we knew Bioshock wasn't going to show. Dragon's Dogma was kind of a, a reach. And yeah. Diablo... Is they're saving it for BlizzCon? Yeah, I think I was I was a little bit on the hype train on this one, just where I was like, ah, Diablo could be interesting. It could. They because could have we done knew, a console reveal. We know we're getting something about it, and it would have been an interesting way for them to break out of their own conference. Yeah. I mean, Dragon's Dogma was just a hopeful thing. I would love. Plus, they've ported it so many times. It wouldn't be surprising if they had released like some sort of expansion content for one of well, those again, ports. Well, for a minute, we thought Black. Well, you you well, you got us. You guys always grounded. think Black Desert. We thought Black Desert. Dragon's oh, Dogma. here comes Dragon's. Oh no! Every time Pearl Abyss comes up, I'm like, oh well, <laughs> this is BDO. So um, only one of those franchises showed up. Devil May Cry. I should have gone two. I could have Ru- tied him. Rudy went with two franchises. Ironically. Devil May Cry was not one of the ones he selected. He selected <laughs> we, Borderlands the rest of us Diablo. All, oh, man. Uh, but he was closest with two. The rest of us said three or four. So Rudy gets to pick. He gets three points, and he gets to pick the best third-party game. I wonder what he is going to oh, select. Oh, boy. I mean, we all know. They may not know. So, know. Uh, so at this point, the scores are 12 to 12. To Onyx has three, Rudy has twelve. So, because the three of us tied at twelve points each overall on the conference bets, Yumi and Rudy have to figure out what was the best conference of E3, which is probably also going to be a challenge. We're going to have to talk about it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to come down to one of the the console big boys, but it could be any of the three of them at this point. I mean, I think if you ask all four of us right now what our opinions are, we might get like four different, I, well, not four different conferences, but we probably have three different conferences spread across four people. So yep. yeah, there will be no arguing, level-headed discussion because Onyx isn't a part of this. <laughs> oh, oh, the shame. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Onyx, I, I mean, God, I'm, actually, I'm really... I'm. I, as much as he's not deciding it with us, I'm excited to hear what he has to say too because I they could go a couple different ways. Everybody's, I think I know everybody's but... top selection will be included as a nomination. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. All right. So we finished the conference room bets. Now we had <sighs> some some questions, some regular bets that were each worth two points. Some intriguing numbers games. Some intriguing numbers games, and the person who has the most points out of this set of games Mm -hmm. gets to select the award for biggest surprise of e3 or the you never saw it coming award (laughs) because we love persona 5 Uh, so much and that's never gonna die um probably right and that could be a game it could be an announcement it could be a shadow drop it could be a character that showed up in another person's game it could be there's a lot of options for that it doesn't just have to be a game but uh so there's nine of these we're gonna go through those real quick and then we're gonna do a final tally to see who gets to pick our game of show the big one okay so uh current scores are 12 to 12 Rudy's got 12, Onyx has 3. Let's see if Onyx can catch up Oh, here. he's coming for the comeback. I can feel it. I definitely don't already know the results. <laughs> All right, let's, <laughs> let's start with how many times will the words exclusive or exclusively be audibly heard during the Microsoft press conference? Microsoft exclusive world premiere. So we, we ta- did a tally during the conference. We did mm-hmm. a live tally. 
And the final number we had was 12. Right. Now, we're not sure if we got all of them, but I I'm feel... I'm, like, waiting for someone to comment on this video. Yeah, I feel like we all did a pretty good job of, of uh, picking out who said what. It was definitely at least 12. It was definitely at least 12, because we heard 12, which means I had 10, Rudy had 11, so both of us are disqualified, because Matt had 12, so he's right on the dot. Onyx had 17, so unless there's three that we missed... We're giving this one to Matt. Matt, you got two points. So you have moved into the lead. You now have 14 points overall. So proud. The next one. How many human speakers will appear on camera during the Nintendo Direct? So this, now, is, this, is, <laughs> this is a bit of a weird one. This because is a bit of a weird one. I was under the impression initially that it was going to be like presenters, but we didn't specify. We did not specify. We said human speakers. Which means humans a that human speak. that is speaking on camera. And there were the two big trailers that had a bunch. There was the Pokemon. Was it the Pokemon? It anime? was the Mario Party trailer. It was the Mario Party one that really had, like they had so many people. people in it. So there ended up, what was the final number? Well, we put eight plus because we didn't go back it and was count a lot. all of them. But we had uh, Reggie. Uh, Sakurai, and I'm, I I apologize, I can't remember the oh, other yeah, Nintendo yeah, yeah. person's name. But there, So there were at least three. Three actual presenters. Were three actual presenters. But then there were like the four playing each other in the baseball mini game. There was another set of, I swear there were like 15 were, if you count all the trailers. There were multiple other humans that we saw speak. Mm -hmm. Not just voiceovers, but they legitimately spoke on camera. Yep. Um, so we decided to give this one to Onyx. He had five. The rest of us had four. Rudy and I both said three, so I was okay with it. I, I do think legitimately that should go to Onyx. So, Onyx, you get two points. The comeback begins. Your, the comeback has started <laughs> and may have ended. Uh, <laughs> all right, next up. What will be Kingdom Hearts 3's release date? If no release date is announced, the earliest date wins. Well, this was actually announced after we recorded the video. It was. Uh, it was announced at the Kingdom Hearts uh, concert, something or other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did show it during the press conference, so we know when this is coming out. Or at least I... Well, the press conference is... Press conference is. They, they showed, showed it. up at three different ones. That's got to be a record. We need to work that into our bets next year. <laughs> like, who's going to have the most showings? I don't actually have the exact date, or at least I can't see what it is on screen. We know it's um, coming out January of 2019. Yeah, January. Uh, was it... It was early. I thought it was the... First or second week, wasn't it? It was somewhere in there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, it fell between my bet of December 3rd, 2018, and Rudy's bet of April 12th, 2019. Even if it was in February, I think I'd still be closer depending on the day. So I get three points. I'm sorry, two points for that. I, I was went, the closest. I went super early on that one. I thought they were going to shock the world and be like, it's coming out in October, but no such luck. Or I thought I'd get lucky and they wouldn't announce a release date. <laughs> All right, next up, how many non-showcase games will appear at Sony's press conference? This was actually kind of shocking when you went back and tallied them up because it didn't feel like there were that Super many. Super shock. I, I mean, I don't know. I still, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that conference. And again, like we said in the earlier portion of the video, they just they were very unclear about what they were actually doing. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to, to peg that down. They showed a lot. They showed a lot. We ended up, the tally we came up with was 16. And this is how we got it. We had the four showcase games. There was the Resident Evil. There was Destiny 2. We counted Black Ops as one game. We weren't sure to count that as Yeah, because they showed the content with the yeah. maps being released for three and four. Uh, Neo 2 was in there. Control was in there. Uh, Dreams we counted as a game that appeared. Because they did show it, they yeah. showed it five or six different times. Um, there was a montage... Of a couple of, of VR experiences. Uh, I believe it was five games total that included Days Gone, and mm -hmm. the rest of it was all VR. Days Gone, Saber Beat, um, uh, Mirror or something or other. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple in there. Uh, and then, so we thought, oh, that, that was it, based on the notes that we wrote down. Um, but in trying to ensure that I could win. Sorry, Rudy. Because <laughs> Rudy said 12, I said 15. Our final tally we came up with was 16. I, uh, I sc scrolled over and said, wait a minute, wait a minute. At the end of the uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, oh, Kingdom Hearts 3 was one. At the end of that trailer, we see 
Kingdom Hearts 1.5, Kingdom Hearts 2.5, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 final chapter prologue. He got by on a technicality because they showed every Kingdom Hearts release currently in circulation. And I think we only counted those as three, but that got me over the hump. I mean, yeah, technically, if you look at how many actual games that is. It was probably more. It's like like nine games. We counted them as the compilation package that they Releasing as a part of their collector's edition, PS4 Pro and all that. Sorry, Rudy. You never saw that one coming. (laughs) I did not see (laughs) that one coming. I take two points from that. Uh, okay, let's see. How many confirmed deaths? This was this was fantastic. Uh, fantastic. How many confirmed deaths will we see in the Doom Two gameplay demo? <laughs> so all of us except Onyx had a number higher than zero because we all believed Doom Two was showing up, and Onyx they, said this game's not even a Doom's period. not even gonna be there. Zero, it's and I'm like, up. I'm like fifty six deaths. Yeah, I had. Oh uh, yeah, fifty six was a lot. I had twenty four. <laughs> Rudy had eight. So Onyx was like, that game's not showing up. Zero. And as soon as the trailer started, he was like, dang it. And we're like, what? He's like, I lost the bet. Well, there was no gameplay. There was no deaths at all, even in the cinematic trailer. Zero deaths, but Doom 2 was announced. So congrats, Onyx, I guess. Uh, You get points. Even though Doom 2 showed up. That's unreal. Yeah. You know what? We'll give it to him. We'll We'll give give it it to him. him. (laughs) Oh, boy. I'm sorry, Onyx. I love you. I miss you. All right. So I'm probably screwing up my stats here, but that's okay. Uh, let's move on. We've got one, two, three, four, four more. Our current totals are I have 16. Matt, you have 14. Onyx has 7. Rudy has 12. All Tight right. race. Tight race. Tight race. Still anybody's game. How many uncensored F-bombs will drop during Ubisoft's press conference? What a shocker. Very surprised. There was one that we counted. One. One. I don't even remember when it happened. It was... Was it during, like, trials or something? It was trials. or Maybe it was Rainbow Six, actually. It was something really random. It was during a time where I didn't really expect it to happen. Yeah, and it wasn't even, like, a straight F-bomb. It was, like, used as an adjective... It, I can't. Even, I honestly so don't remember. It might just, have been a developer just came I, out and said it. I put a bunch of like numbers out there just because I thought, oh well, the Beyond Good and Evil. They're gonna show Beyond Good and Evil, and we're gonna bunch of that. And there was not a single curse no. word. I, there was, I think. He goes, "What? What?" Yeah. And we're like, uh, uh, "Nope, you didn't say it." Yeah. <laughs> uh, so with one, Rudy and I split that because we each said four. Mm-hmm. So we were still pretty close. Um, Where's Aisha when I need her? I know. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Uh, so Rudy and I, we each get two points. I'm pulling ahead, Matt. I don't like it. You can still catch up here. I don't like it. You can still catch up. I prefer mustard and mayonnaise. Will the Metroid Prime 4 release date be revealed? Two of us said nah. yes, and two of us said no. Nah. And the mm. answer, I don't know why we'd fist bump <laughs> over a no. I mean, I wanted to see I mean, the release yeah, date, but, but uh, I, it honestly, didn't show up. I can't. I, I keep saying honestly. I'm saying that an awful honestly, lot right now. Honestly, you keep saying honestly. Dishonestly, no, I mean it. The fact that Rudy and Onyx both thought we were going to get an announced date after all we got was a splash screen last year. Come on, man. Like we didn't get anything for it, let alone an, we're we are so far away from a release date for that. I expect we might get a little bit of footage or, or something on it between now and next E3 because you know I they'll, would agree. they'll, they'll do, do some direct. sort of direct. Yeah. So. I mean, we'll probably get, like, two weeks from now, we'll probably get Animal Crossing and Metroid Prime showing, like, gameplay I mean, if, or something. I mean, if Metroid but... Prime 4 is going to be a holiday 2019 game, then I could see them doing, like, yeah. what they did with Smash this year back in January and saying, here it is. They're probably going to wait until we're closer to, at the very least, the Pokemon release, because that's going to be their big focus for now. Yeah, they're going to... Yeah, so... so so yeah. maybe January is when we can expect it. They've gotten over the hump of Smash. They've yeah. gotten over the hump of... So we might of, get it, uh, but I never expected them to show up for this for E3. Too far off, sadly. Here was a, uh, here was a bet that Onyx wrote. His, his sole contribution to the list. Let's see if he was able to take his own bet. Win his own bet. How many full reloads will we see... During the Battlefield Five demonstrations across all conferences. Oh man, this is almost as bad as the Doom deaths. Would you believe the answer was zero? Zero. We went back and looked. There could be a couple fringe ones, like in the background, but 
there were so many quick cuts. I mean, I don't think it's possible to have well, gotten I mean, a full reload. Well, I mean, to be fair, they showed, like, two and a half minutes of actual in-game footage. Not even. I mean, they showed, like, two, two minutes of in-game footage and, like, a minute of trailer cinematic between two conferences. Yep. And the reason they did that was because they showed a ton of, like, offstage gameplay. They had a multiplayer gameplay demo there that people could play. So I've seen a lot of footage, but, yeah, not, not one reload. So uh, so let's see how Onyx did. Well, Rudy won. He said two. I don't know why he said two, but he won. He's a seer. He won. He's All, all they needed was that 30-minute Battlefront-style gameplay demo. Yeah, I know, right? And Rudy would have gotten blown out of the water. But uh, he said two. So, Rudy, I'm going to mark you down for the two points right now. Congrats on that. Uh, next highest was me. I said 10. Very far away. Matt, you said 22. <laughs> Onyx said 23. He was the furthest away on <laughs> his got own me bet. by the one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Onyx. I don't know. I get, maybe we were just expecting, like, Call of Duty Infinite, where they showed, like, 10 <laughs> minutes of gameplay, and it's, like, super fast reloads. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. Alas, not to be. Well, let's move on. We've got one more bet, and then we'll sum up all the points. This was the most important bet of E3. It was. This the most important bet. This was the one. Will Lightning make an appearance all of us were like well yeah of course she will i knew i should have gone contrarian there's, on this. there's kingdom hearts 3 that she's obviously going to appear absolutely in. we've got uh dissidia nt she might show up in they've got all these different final fantasy games that tactics ta oh man yeah when tactics 2 gets wanted. announced she'll be a cameo course, in that absolutely um they've got board games and card games and mobile games Final Fantasy 13 5, whatever, you know. <laughs> she she did not show up. She didn't show. I really She should've... wasn't even on somebody's shirt. She wasn't on a poster in the background. She didn't even like walk across the screen. How quickly we forget. You know, I mean, I I, I guess it's Noctis's <laughs> world now, whatever. <laughs> Noctis didn't even show up. No. They didn't show anything. They didn't for... show any 15 DLC ah. stuff at this. I mean, not that I'm complaining. It's no, I mean, but... Cloud showed up. Cloud showed up, not at not at Square Enix's press <laughs> conference, but Cloud did did make an appearance. Cloud be stealing people's thunder. thunder. Oh, uh, boy. Not lightning. <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> You're making me a horrible person. Oh, man. Uh, a squall is coming. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the most <laughs> synchronous puns that are actually relevant to what we're talking about to ever happen. Ever. Oh, man, I can't deal with this right now. So uh, we all said yes. Of course, the answer was no. So for once, nobody gets any points. So looking back at just our two-point questions. Um, well, I mean, we all had our ridiculous five-point bets that nobody got points on either. So. Well, so we'll get there. Well, yeah, I guess. No, we'll do that now. So, yeah, we had some ridiculous bets. None of them came true. I said that, uh, so for final bets, winner, if you if you predicted something that came true, you'd get five points. And it had to be something Insane. Big. As as evidenced by me fumbling around trying to make my bet more insane <laughs> at the end of our video. You should go watch that. It's that, really it awkward. It's pretty funny. Uh, I bet that Final Fantasy Tactics 2 would be revealed exclusively for the Nintendo Switch uh, with Ramza, Delita, and uh, Alma appearing in the cinematic trailer tactics 2 did not show up at all let alone for the switch it's probably the most likely so, one out of it, all of our bets though i on, i could have seen it i, I could have seen I, it. I wanted to see it so bad yeah uh actually i actually so yours i'm actually surprised your game didn't show up so you you thought justice i'm game. surprised that the game didn't show up rocksteady is just so quiet right now nobody knows what's going on with them i did think the game would show up in some capacity even if it was only like a or even if it wasn't the game i thought justice league they're working on. They've got to be working on some DC title. It's been rumored forever, but who knows? But I, I said, at the urging to make my bet more <laughs> ridiculous, I said that not only would they reveal a Justice League game, that the new Batman who will be replacing Ben Affleck in future Batman movies would come out and announce it. Which, yeah, that's well. So definitely, nothing was announced. Definitely so, didn't happen. Yeah, that didn't happen. Ben Affleck's still losing the cow. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Onyx uh, said that. There would be three Microsoft franchises showing up in Super Smash Brothers. Uh, it yes. was 
Banjo, uh, was it Banjo Kazooie? I think he had Banjo. I know he had Master Chief. He had Master Chief. Um, I can't remember what the third one Wait, was. Wait, was it all Microsoft? Was it? I thought he had Rayman. I mean, did he not have Rayman? I don't think there? Rayman no. was one of them. Anyway, none of them. None of them showed not up. Not one. But yeah. that's because Nintendo just literally took every character from every game they've oh, ever Oh, it was in. Steve from Minecraft. Was the oh, one. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which actually wasn't a bad idea. I could see Steve from Minecraft showing up in this game. He's got a moveset. He's on the Switch. Okay. You know, yeah. Minecraft's pretty popular. It's a best popular. I actually still would not be surprised to see him show up as... Uh, an announced character before the game comes out, or even I don't DLC. know. I think there are so many other characters that could show up before that. But regardless, didn't happen. Didn't happen. No points for Onyx. And I apologize, Rudy. I don't even remember what your bet was. I don't. I don't even know if I ever heard Rudy. Yeah, he right before EA's conference, or maybe shortly thereafter, he was like, "Oh, this is going to happen." Whatever it was was so insanely stupid that it, it didn't happen. Well, that was the idea. We wanted to go nuts with it, so... But prove me wrong, Rudy. I mean, if I'm totally misremembering and you're like, no, it was this and it happened, could tell affect, me. But I'm pretty sure we would have reacted. affect our final score. It could. No, it won't. <laughs> Actually, no, it can't. Oh, well, it could. Actually, it could. <laughs> it could make the difference. It could make the difference. So uh, before we talk the final, final scores, which you can already see on the screen, uh, for the... You never saw it coming award, best surprise award. Um, Matt, you, Onyx, and Rudy all had four points. I had eight points, so yep. I get to select that. And then overall, Onyx came in fourth place overall with seven points. You and Rudy had a very respectable 16 points, mm -hmm. more than double our good friend Onyx, mm -hmm. our humbled, not evolved Steelix friend Onyx. <laughs> And uh, I, I just got the luck of the draw, I guess. I ended up with 20, so no, I will were, be you were on top of the selecting a game of show. Game I'm of show. very big, excited for big it. Big responsibility. I, uh, it is a big responsibility because that's the one where all the uh, hateful comments might come from if I don't pick Nerds the right one. Nerds prepare. Uh, but I'm, I want everybody to have their, their yeah. top game for sure in yeah. the nomination. I want to try to have be a top three because I have a feeling... All of us are There's, sharing some top threes. There There'll be some synergies so there. There is so much to talk about. Um, I mean, it was such a crazy conference. So uh, be on the lookout for that. That's coming up here shortly now that we have announced who's picking what for our conferences. We hope you enjoyed this little, <sighs> little banter. We hope you enjoyed the E3 betting special. We really enjoyed making that. That was a Man. lot of fun. Ugh, this yeah. is, it's, been a, it's been a good E3. It's been a great E3. It's Thank been, you so much. We've, you know what? I, I, this is probably the best time to, to talk about this really quickly. Please don't go. I want you to listen to how appreciative and thankful we are for our current, existing, previously existing, and brand new subscribers. People commenting on our videos. You guys have been unreal. We had, I think we got up to just before E3. We were just about to hit 600, 600 subscribers yeah. after over a year of having YouTube content for the gaming resume. We're almost double that in a week. We're on, we're at 11 four digits baby. something right now. Four digits baby. Yeah. And we just hit 1000 the other day. And and a lot of the the feedback and discussions we've been having with you guys has been fantastic. We've already got some ideas for new content which you're going to be seeing here very very shortly. Uh, some some shorter bite-sized content, some mm -hmm. more interactive content. Uh, we've got some new ideas coming down the pike. Um, it's worth noting that Rudy's in Poland for the next couple months, so he will not see him on camera with us until he returns at the end of summer. Uh, however, he is planning to do some solo stuff while yep. he's on his trip. Uh, Onyx will be back next week, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing our award show, and then we're, we're heading on. we got a lot of things to talk about. A lot of content, a lot of games. It's going to be a great year. Keep giving us new corrections give us corrections I, look, look red queen i'm never gonna forget the name of that sword again nero <laughs> is just it's even though it's been nine years since i played that game and i loved that game to death that is burned into my cerebrum now and i i appreciate you guys for being such passionate fans about it it's seriously it's been it has been fantastic and it's really nice to be able to interact with everybody and have that sense of community because it's not just the four of us up here talking about video games it's the four of us hoping to talk to thousands of people about video games yeah i mean we we had a few commenters here and there prior to e3 2018 but this is where it really blew up and i gotta tell you we read all the comments yeah, even we if do. we're not responding so i respond under our channel's account 
Matt and Onyx and Rudy, you may see them responding under their uh, personal accounts. We may not respond to everything. We don't respond to everything. But we do read every single comment. Yes. There's many times where we're just slacking back and forth screenshots. And, oh, my gosh, look what this person said and, and, and having conversations about it. So, we, again, we really appreciate it. Glad you're on board. Really hope you like our stuff. And uh, we'll keep on going. Until next week. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Oof. All right, guys. Take care. Like what you saw? Check out some of our other videos and be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching.